Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Erwin, with another manga chapter review. This is going to be on Jinru Game Crazy Fox Chapter 10. Uh, we're finally on the double digits. <laughs> I believe there's now 20 chapters released, so I will try to speed it up and review as much as possible. Um, but we're finally on Chapter 10. It was an interesting chapter, but we got more of a background story, less of the story continuing itself. So, uh, before I continue, thank you so much for those who are joining in the channel just for this series. Welcome to those that have been going into the Discord. If you haven't yet, join the Discord. We can talk about manga freely there and uh, just enjoy the series together. Um, Secondly, guys, you guys can watch the first nine chapter reviews here in this channel. Uh, make sure you're subscribing to this channel as well. I'm trying to reach 33 and maybe 3,400 by the end of this month. So make sure you're subscribing and getting me up there. Uh, I do appreciate everyone who's new and welcome if you are new. Uh, introduce yourself in the, in the comment section. Uh, lastly, there is a spoiler alert because I will talk about it in some detail so you guys have been warned i'm talking about this series in detail okay general game crazy fox chapter 10 it, it it starts with a background story of one of our werewolves uh this is the girl uh yuki and y yuki she essentially uh was living with her mother and i guess no dad present and she has this she has this like hate relationship with her mother. She shows up to the house. Her mother is still laying in the couch, and the house is a mess. And she's like, "Why the? Why is the house uh uh you know a trash place? And why are you there? Why aren't you a mother? Why aren't you you know doing what you're supposed to do?" And she's like, "I get home from work, and I'm just tired, and and et cetera, et cetera." And I'm like, "Well, I have I have school." plus a part-time to help pay for the bills and so they have this whole fight which i think happens very much with typical families about just bills money about whose house is this and etc etc except their relationship is a hateful relationship it's a, a a i would say abusive to the verbal level it, it didn't get physical but it's very abusive verbally they, it, it, you can tell they don't like each other. They don't like being close to each other. And uh, anyways, we learn that Yuki is a clean freak. She goes to her room and her room is spotless. Nothing is wrong for one exception. There's something uh, that has been uh, added or moved in her room and she doesn't know what, what it is. Why is it there? She didn't leave it there. She knows that she's clean. Her mom must have gone into her room. When he turns around, her mom, I think, knocks her out with a with with the glass. I, bl I believe with a cup of glass, um, with a glass cup is what I meant to say. And I guess that's how she, that's how she ended up in the Jinru game in the first one. Because remember, she was in in one prior to this one with Moria Yaka, the one that we know is the fox. So. Uh, we then get moved back to present time and Yuki and K Kentaro, the, the boy, who is not a girl, who I've confused for a girl in the first chapters. Sorry about that. Anyways, Yuki and Kentaro are now discussing what to do next, right? Uh, first, Yuki has uh, a, a little bit of a hate now against Kentaro because why did he try to throw her under the bus? Right, she's like, you could have gotten me killed. You know, it I, it could have it could have turned out pretty bad on your end. Uh, and he's like, well, you know, I I was just trying to get someone someone from their team killed. You just happen to be a quiet person, so you just fit the criteria. It's not my fault, right? Um, Yuki's also very upset with how messy the area is. I, I wouldn't say it's that messy. It's, uh, there's just things all over the place. I mean, people, are, they know they they might die in the next day, so some people might not even care of keeping the place clean, right? So Yuki is kind of freaking out about that. The, the chapter ends with two things. One, they're trying to figure out who is the third werewolf. Is it someone that died? Was it Sh Shinoki? Was it Sugawara, right? Was it any of those two that um, 
were they the werewolf? Or was it the one they just killed, Sumidana? You know, were there any of those three people uh, that died so far? They're trying to figure out who the third werewolf is. They know there's a third werewolf, they just don't know who it is. Um, someone asked me in the Discord, again, join if you haven't done so, but someone asked me in the Discord where I thought who the third werewolf was, right? Um, it, it, there is that possibility that maybe uh, Sugawada, one of the guys, the first guy that died, could have been the werewolf, but I think the most possible from what I've seen the characters like to be, I, I think it's Takigawa. Takigawa is the cute guy that Mori Ayaka likes. Uh, I think Taigawa is actually the werewolf and is hiding in his room pretending not to do anything because he doesn't want to kill people. He doesn't want to be that character. So he might be convincing himself that he is not the werewolf or that he shouldn't play as a werewolf. He can just be a villager if he chooses not to be a werewolf. So um, I don't know. I don't know. That's my theory. I could be wrong. Uh, and I don't know who else from the group would really uh, be hiding the fact that they are a werewolf. So, we'll see. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, let's talk more about Jinru Game on the Discord or here in the, in the comment section. Comment below. Uh, make sure you are liking and watching other videos. There will be a giveaway. If not already out, it will be out soon. So go check it out. Thank you for your love and support again. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.